What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Wanted to give an update on my leg. So, much calmer. I have put the Aquarius back in the cage, and I've been very relaxed. So, what's new with the hole in my leg? So, I'm going to link the original video down below. That is the persona I could maintain on camera. I couldn't really relax down here, right? So, that's not acting. That's literally like the part of the process I was in on the recovery. And I showcased my leg wound because these legs would not expand. I was constantly jabbing chlorinergics into my legs to try and recycle the spinal fluid faster. My legs are back, right? I can do 315 for 20 reps. Is that five plates for volume? No, that will be when my legs are 100% back, but it's very linear and it's safe to squat again. You know, I can do a normal high volume tree and know that later in the day, I'm not going to have any issues. So I've been very happy healing the hole in my leg has been quite a challenge in the sense of I was kind of like, do I have to get this cut out? You know, I was asking all my nurse friends and everyone was kind of leaning towards me having to get it cut out. I'm super stubborn, obviously, so I did not get it cut out. I did want to go into something that I feel like this is information power for if you had a open wound and or your children had some sort of open wound, what to get to the doctor. So one of my nurse friends dropped off some SSD cream, which is silver sulfadiazine cream, which will play a little excerpt. So yeah, it helps with skin replication and just speeds up the overall healing process, helps that skin pull over the wound better. Remember, I had a literal dead necrosis hole in my leg so when i show my leg now which is right here is where the hole was it feels pretty decent under it i can't complain you know it's a scar that will have a lot of meaning for me i will have lost a little part of myself last year but it was only this little amount so i'm pretty chill with it i legit thought i was gonna have to get it cut out so that's what it looks like and i'll obviously show a close-up but this SSD cream I did not put on until after it healed on itself because I was really in between interfering with the bacterial process of naturally healing. I didn't want to disrupt what the brain thought was going on down there and or like some days my legs were shut off, not communicating correctly and it was very problematic. But once the wound closed, I began applying the cream and yeah, if you have an open wound and you go to the emergency room or anything, you should be leaving with this. They do not give this out very easily. I had to ask someone to get this for me and I wanted to showcase this cream because we're about learning new things. I'm about getting educated by my audience and this really helped. This really helped close the top of this. It's completely closed. This was also a hole right here. This looks like this. This looks almost passable, completely normal. I'm just chill. There's no hole in my leg. You know, I had a friend, Ron, who showcased his hole in his hamstring. I put it on the internet. Really butthurt over that for days because, yeah, nobody wants to do a bad shot and have to get a hole cut out. Now, for me, I was in that recovery thing. I was having to jab my legs just to walk. So I really didn't care about risking it. But this is where it's at on the recovery. You know, it really doesn't look that bad, obviously, for bodybuilding purposes, whatever. But as far as visually in the mirror, I'm happy because I was looking at a literal necrosis black hole in my leg that I could, like, take the top off and I could see way deep into my leg and it is completely closed. And, yeah, there's scar tissue at the top, but when I flex it, I can tell it is repairing under it. So this SSD cream, in my opinion, is a must. If you have any sort of wound that you need to be healed, they probably won't give it to you. You're going to have to ask. That's when you pull out the, ah, Russo, remember to get the SSD cream. I'm going to remember to get the SSD cream and boom, hit that doctor with that bar and they're going to bring this out and you're going to heal way faster. That's what's new with that. Otherwise, I will be going into normal content within probably October. Going to be realistic. I'm reorganizing everything and trying to get... You know, all my business people happy. There's a ton of fires with that. There's a ton of fires with um, taking on the employees full time again. 
and just me overall having to vlog, right? So I am going to be doing the studio content. One of my editors will keep that moving for you guys, which will do BS cloud grabs, we'll do topic videos. I'll have more educated consultants and or biohackers on the channel to discuss with me. I will do hot mics here with some locals in Pittsburgh. I do have a funny, I have two funny guys that I do want to put on hot mics. I think you guys will find entertaining, but I have to vlog individually. I have to rebuild the physique. That's what you guys want to see. And I have to bring out the angry persona of a manic Russo. And I want to move in that direction while continuing to maintain this sort of studio flow that you guys seem to enjoy. You guys do seem to enjoy one out of every six studio vids I post up and that was in that horrid time. I was just making content to continue moving, clawing, clawing, crawling forward, crawling forward, dog, 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 dog each day. You can see I'm relaxed again. I cannot relax for a very long time and I want to create. I want to enjoy, have passion to create. That would be me vlogging, having complete 